Mortgage Action Alliance is MBA's free grassroots advocacy network that we use to keep real estate finance professionals informed and engaged in the political process. Here to talk about it is Jeff Taylor, MA chairman and MBA board member and co-founder and managing director of Digital Risk. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. From your perspective as the head of your company, why is it important to be in involved with MA? You know, as the head of the company, I can tell you that I don't think there could be anything more important than to be involved with the Mortgage Action Alliance. It's because this is the segue where lawmakers in the regulatory environment, they, they meet and the laws get passed in Washington, D.C. And to not be involved with the Mortgage Action Alliance really means that while you're in the industry, you're not necessarily in tune with what's going on in Washington, D.C. and how that's affecting your business. So great thing about Mall also is it gives you the ability to have your entire company get the information on a regular basis. So we kind of talk about that at Digital Risk as an informed workforce. Because while the messages are still coming out from the MBA, what we're doing in the lobbying efforts and different bills being passed, CEO might look at that in one phrase, but your in your technology firm may look at and your other parts of your department, your company may look at it totally different. But that constant information kind of coming in and out gives people an, an opportunity to personalize what's important to them, and then they can actually answer the calls to action. Now you're giving them a voice, the individual, and the company's having a voice, which is huge as far as driving the revenue and sustainability and the health of the mortgage market. Jeff, why should MBA associate members participate in MA? So for me, it's like, how can MBA associate members not be involved in MA? So after being on the MBA board for two years, I agreed this year to sort head to, to chair the Mortgage Action Alliance. Here's things that I don't think people truly appreciate. There's 250,000 MBA members. When we got into it, only 1,000 associates were mall members. These are service providers, technology firms, who are in the space, who derive 100% of their revenue from people in the residential mortgage space or multifamily. Yet, they only had 1,000 members part of the Mortgage Action Alliance. So when, there's, when we're in D.C. and there's regulatory bodies, legislation's being passed that can affect the industry and their business, they don't really have a seat at the table if they're not part of the, part of the Mortgage Action Alliance. I'll give you an example. 2017, when tax reform was happening, the MSR issue was very much front and center. Basically, it said, hey, we're going to all, all of a sudden, we're going to start taxing it when the MSR is created versus when the cash flow comes out. Graves is an issue. MBA rallied. 9,000 people called to action. It was fantastic. Back at Digital Risk, we've got 1,200 employees. I had a due diligence came to me and said, wait a minute. If that law actually goes into place, that could significantly impact our revenue because there'll be less MSRs to actually do due diligence on. That could be a hit to the company, it could be a hit to her personally. So the point for associate members is you have to have an educated, informed workforce, and that message that's happening in DC, everybody may personalize it different. What they get out of it's not gonna be the same from the CEO to the person, in my case, running the head of due diligence. But having that information allows the people to make an informed decision and to voice their opinion in a call to action that's extremely important. So full circle, if you're in, in the mortgage industry at all, being part of Mortgage Action Alliance is imperative. And if you're an associate, it's even more imperative, I would argue. Jeff, you have the largest number of mob members among any technology vendors. How do you not only retain these people, but how do you recruit them as well? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a great question. And for us, it's really been about an informed workforce. And here's how I'll kind of define an informed workforce. For many years of our company's existence, there wasn't really a, a feeling that they could influence what was going on in Washington, D.C. And by them becoming involved in the Mortgage Action Alliance, what they realized, especially from our skill set, which is the technology, is their voice or their opinions could actually get to lawmakers. And before they actually instituted new uh, rules and regulations, could actually have an influence on that. So we kind of changed the culture to say, okay, what you have today is your day job. These are the things that we do in the mortgage in our industry, do the things we do for our clients. That being said, a lot of the times you, you look and see the new laws coming out and say it doesn't necessarily make sense or it's not necessarily what we think is best for the industry. So the only way to really get ahead of the curve is to be being out there, answering the calls to action, and staying informed. And informed really means reading an email once every two weeks that comes out from MBA, having an opinion. It's not difficult. And it's something that actually the culture of our company has really embraced. And they talk about things that are going on in Washington so much more. And the reason that we've been able to keep them involved is we, you know, we talk to them about it. We, we let them know this is your chance to make an imprint on what's going on in Washington, D.C. And it's been something that's just really worked well for us. Yeah, listen, Ma, it's such an important part of our advocacy efforts here at the MBA, uh, and it's never been more important to be involved. So we really appreciate you stopping by and talking a little bit about Ma. Thank you very much.